안녕하세요, Han Yumi. Hey guys, I'm Hamin, and I was thinking I just wanted to teach Korean while making my lessons interesting. So I thought maybe I could teach Korean while I'm making kimbap and show you guys how it's made and tell you some story of it. So let's go. Egg in Korean is keran, keran. This is the process of making kimbap, but I will be teaching you guys some Korean words while we watch this clip. So this is keran, and then now we have oi, oi. Cucumber in Korean is oi. This is mat sal, mat sal. And then we have tangen, tangen. This is pop, pop. This is the all full setup, and we have mat sal, keran, udang, tamuji, oi, uong. 당근, 김, 밥. And now, since we have all the ingredients, let's start making kimbap. I'm not sure if you noticed, but kim is seaweed and pap is rice. So that's why it's called kimbap. You put a rice on top of the seaweed and you make sure all the rice is spread properly. And then after you're done, you can put your ingredients. This is what we have right now, but you can actually put whatever you like. You can customize your own kimbap. So if you don't have any ingredients from here, then you can make your own. But this is the basic ingredients that we put normally. Another question that I got was that the rice doesn't stick properly. To help with this, you can just put some salt and rice vinegar inside it, then it will stick better. And another thing is that the rolling part is really hard. It looks easy, but it needs some practice. And after you're done, you can cut your kimbap. It looks really, really good. Like, if you haven't tried kimbap, make sure you try it. And this is the final result. Also, there's another way to make kimbap as well. There are multiple ways to make kimbap, and one of my favorite, tamchi kimbap. So you put a gennip inside it. And you put a chamchi, china, on top of that. I'll give you some Korean words while we're waiting until this chamchi kimbap is done. Cooking in Korean is yori, yori. Chef in Korean is yori sa, yori sa. Ingredients in Korean is jeryo, jeryo. Meat in Korean is Kogi, kogi. Vegetables in Korean is yache, yache. Fruits in Korean is kwail, kwail. And this is the final result. My favorite kimbap, tamchi kimbap. Now let's go eat. Okay, if you want to buy kimbap in Korea, it's really cheap. Like one roll is about a dollar. And there are a lot of types of kimbap too. There's cheesy kimbap, there's tamchi kimbap, there's bulgogi kimbap. There's a lot. And price gets extra more expensive if you add some ingredients into it. This is tamchi kimbap, as you can see right here. Yeah, so that's tuna. When I was little, whenever I go to picnic in Korea, I used to have kimbap a lot because we had to pack our lunch. In Korean, it's called dojirap. Dojirap. So we had to pack our lunch and my mom would always make kimbap for me. And also when I moved to Canada, we always had to pack our lunch. And every lunch time, I had kimbap as well. And my friends would come to me and they would be like, Oh, can I have some of your kimbap? And they would like try it out and they would love it. So my mom sometimes made some extra for them. So like I had like three package and we all shared it. So yeah, uh, kimbap is really good. My mom is really good at making kimbap. As you can see right here, like it's really good. Like I'll show you. Yeah, so kimbap. If you want to make kimbap, um, I'll ask my mom to make the proper video to how to make it step by step, one by one. So if you ever need it, just ask me in the comments. But yeah, let's try to eat our kimbap. I'm so excited. Okay. Oh, by the way, I don't really know how to use chopstick properly. Uh, normally, you have to use it, something like this, but I use it on my own way. Some people ask me like, oh, how do you use chopstick? And yeah, I don't really know how to use chopstick properly. I, I use my own way. I tried to learn when I was little, but it didn't work out. So yeah, sometimes, yeah, it doesn't work properly, but... Mmm. 
I didn't have Team Pop for a long time. So, it's really good. I really miss Tom Chicken Pop. Tom Chicken Pop is one of my favorite. I also like Cheese Chicken Pop. I've been really, really busy these days. <laughs> it feels so weird to do mukbang. I'm just eating and just staring at myself. I have a laptop over here, so I see like how everything is viewed. But yeah, what was I saying? Mm. Okay, so the reason why I'm not uploading a lot of videos these days is because I have school. I'm taking five courses right now, and I also have three jobs that I'm working on. Um, it's not a lot of work, but still, I'm making online courses teaching Korean. Um, that's two of my jobs, and another one I recently got it. It's like social media management, so I have to manage social media accounts and come up with contents and stuff like that. So it's been really busy and on top of that I'm posting like at least three videos every day on TikTok and I'm making contents for YouTube once in a while and I also manage my Instagram account. So yeah everything's been really busy and, and outside of that like I have other stuff going on as well. But I try to balance my time. Some people ask me to do online courses on Zoom and I'm totally down to do that. It's just that Right now, it's hard, but once I finish school, or when I'm on the break, I'm going to do that as well. So I'll be chatting with you guys. Um, I'll give live Korean lessons. Also, what I want you guys to do is to comment down what type of videos that you guys would like to see so I can make videos like that. Right now, what I'm trying to do is like make vlog videos and try to teach Korean in my daily lives. So it's not like... You're sitting down there and just trying to listen and learn Korean. It's like it's not like boring or lecture type of lessons, but um, get to learn the words and phrases that you would use in your daily lives. So I'm trying to be creative and come up with ideas that will be really interesting and kind of useful to learn. So this is my first try of making kimbap and teaching Korean at the same time. And on top of that, um, share my story just a little bit. I would really appreciate if you guys let me know what type of contents that you would like to see so I can make videos for that. And also, I eat a lot. One day, I went to all you can eat sushi restaurant and I had like more than 50 sushi and like 30 sashimi and like other stuff, everything by myself. I eat a lot. So this is not really a lot for me. Like I sometimes have it up to like here and then eat it all. So if you guys want to see mukbang, I could, but I think mukbang is kind of boring to watch. Like even now, it's like kind of hard for me to like just stare at camera and eat. Like it's not really my thing. I don't really watch mukbang. But if you guys like that, then I could do it. Just let me know anything that you guys want me to do. Like Korean lessons, Q&A videos, reaction videos. Just anything straight. Hana, blue, sand, net, taso, taso, yoko, weather, out, yeah, yeah, nah. 11 pieces left. Let's finish it. I just remembered. Before you eat, Koreans say, Taimokesumida. But I didn't say that. But normally you have to say, Taimokesumida. And when you're done eating, you say, Taimokesumida. So before eating, 잘 먹겠습니다. After eating, 잘 먹었습니다. If you're wondering what it means, it's like you're thanking the meal. So before you eat, it's like I'm going to eat this well. And after you eat, it's like like you've eaten well. Oh, and another thing is that you can also put whatever you like in kimbap. So for example, if you put avocado, it will be avocado kimbap. If you put kimchi, it will be kimchi kimbap. So if there's certain food that you like, then you can put that in kimbap and you can make your own kimbap. So basically customize your own kimbap. 
I never thought that I would start YouTube. I always thought that YouTube is something that I would watch, never really create a video. So I don't know how I got here, but it just happened. After I lost my job of teaching English and math to elementary and middle school students, I started TikTok and then I just started teaching Korean around 2020 April. And then a lot of stuff changed since then. And yeah, now I'm here. On YouTube, eating kimbap. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys know this, but I'm not really a type of person to talk a lot. When I'm having a conversation with my friends, I'm normally the one who's listening. I don't really talk a lot. And one of the reasons why I start making videos online is also for me to practice my speaking skills. I'm not great at speaking, but I think I'm improving right now. So I think that's good. Okay, it was like this much before, but now it's only four pieces left. So we're almost done. If anyone was wondering if I would be able to finish this, I can, and I can still eat more than this. Oh, and normally, if you eat kimbap with kimchi, like people kimchi on top of kimbap, I'm not sure what just happened. I think my camera storage was full, so I just switched to my phone camera. But I was saying it's really good to eat it with um, ramen, tteokbokki, or kimchi with kimbap. So you just put it at the top or dip it in the sauce and eat it. It's also really good. Normally, I was gonna get um, dolgakbokkmyeon, which is spicy chicken noodle, and eat it together, but I didn't have any at home, so I'm just having this only. But if I had it, I would have. Eat it together. Alright, this is the end of the video. I'll post more videos whenever I can, but unfortunately, because of my camera issue, I'll figure something out next time so this doesn't happen again, but this kimbap was really good.